In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I use the category feature on eBay. And did you know that there are three different kinds of ways that you can use the category feature on eBay to boost and benefit your listings? What's up everybody, Michael A. Castaneda here of castanetastyles.com. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. On this channel, we mostly focus on reselling retail arbitrage around eBay, Poshmark, and Amazon. And if you've been following along, this is kind of a series or a tutorial really on how I list things on eBay. The videos that I have uploaded right now are on a playlist on this channel, but also there's a link in the description below to my website where you can find the blog post and the videos. In a recent video, I talk about the titles on an eBay listing. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll put the card right here, watch it come right back. However, the main focus on that video is it's important to create a title for what the buyer is searching for, not what the item is. And this is what I mean by that. You don't have to write free shipping in your title because eBay has a feature that does that work for you. If you're selling clothes, you don't need to write clothing, shoes, and accessories in your title, right? That part's kind of easy. It's extremely important to get that part right, but this is something that you can do in addition to creating the first category to get your item in front of the right buyer. And that is creating a second category. Yes, it costs money and it kind of varies based on your item, but let me share with you an example of why you'd want to do this. In this example, I'm selling an NFL varsity jacket and it's leather. It's a beautiful jacket and it goes under men's jackets and men's coats. This could also go in the category of sports memorabilia because it's vintage. By simply adding a second category, this is gonna put my listing in front of completely different buyers, people that might be sports fans might want to buy this jacket now because they're only looking under sports memorabilia, not men's coats and jackets. This could also be good for somebody that doesn't really know much about sports. Maybe Father's Day is coming up. Maybe Christmas is coming up. They want to buy somebody that they love a gift and they don't really know what to get, but they know they like sports or they know they like a specific team. So they'll go into the categories and they'll type in sports memorabilia and they might find your listing. Use the second category to your advantage to put it in front of the right buyer. However, it does cost money to use the second category category, so make sure that it's worth the price. A very simple way to check how much your listing might cost, before you publish your item, scroll all the way down to the page, and just above publish, it'll say how much the listing cost. If it says zero dollars, then it's not gonna cost you anything but your listing fees, and it might say four dollars if you add a bolded title, it might say 25 cents if you add the second category, you get the deal. A third way that you can use categories on eBay is your store's categories. These are the items that you're selling at your store, and you can set them accordingly. This works really well for people that have at least the starter subscription with eBay, which only costs $8 a month. If you buy the whole year, I think it's like $5 a month. You go ahead and check it out. But $8, that's a couple coffees. $8, that's less than a Netflix subscription. You get so much with it. I don't get anything for promoting it in this fashion. It's just so unbelievably worth it for the sourcing guide, for being able to put promotions on your store, but also the listing frame. And the listing frame is essentially a toolbar on the details of your description or on the description of your item and on that toolbar you can have people sign up for your newsletter you can have a search bar on your listing you can also have your store categories listed so if somebody's interested in buying let's say a DVD from you they can see in the description that you have other DVDs to sell as well because you have it categorized on your store they can see other DVDs that you're selling as you can see those three things there can really set your store up for success if you have the wrong category to begin with your items not going to be put in front of the right person but then if they do click on your item because they're interested in buying it, if you have store category set up and if you have the subscription with the listing frame, there's a possibility they might check out other items that you're selling or sign up for your newsletter and then you can send them direct deals and send them items that are brand new to your store. But we might get into that a little bit later. I have a video for you right here on the custom labels and the custom SKU on eBay and how you can utilize it to benefit your productivity on your listings and your overall store. And I have a video for you right here that's recommended to you. Go ahead and click on one of those videos. We're going to go over there and we'll talk more reselling.